Hi everybody, meteorologist Joe Chaffee, weather in five, five days in five minutes, brought to you by Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst. Their telephone number is 631-957-5106. You can plan ahead for the next holiday season. They are your holiday lighting specialists. And also brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware, 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon. And they're asking the question, you got mulch? Because spring is coming, 631-756-1125 for the best prices in town for all your landscaping needs. We are looking ahead. I'm going to just jump to tomorrow really quick because uh, we are going to attempt to warm up, but it is going to depend on where you are. Still, everybody's going to be seeing temperatures run above normal. And I think we could take out these numbers that are showing up for tomorrow uh, if we get enough sunshine. We're seeing, for example, in southern New England and the Hudson Valley and on Long Island, back to about New York City, highs in the upper 40s to around 50. You head down to South Jersey, southeast, south central Pennsylvania, into Maryland and northeast Virginia. You're looking at mid-50s and even some lower 60s. Now, I don't think 60s are going to push all the way up, but it's possible that we could see the low-end numbers come up by a, a few degrees and the mid-range numbers also come up by a few, few degrees. Bottom line is, it's going to be a nice day and it's going to melt away some of the snow cover that uh, we've collected over these uh, past many months. Meanwhile, this afternoon, or at least at midday, we're looking at temperatures that are in the upper 30s and lower 40s, just about everywhere. And we have a, an upper air disturbance. You can see it swinging here out of the Great Lakes and into the Northeast. <clears throat> you head down south of Washington, D.C., and in through the southeastern part of the U.S., it's mostly sunny and all across the Gulf states. But north of there, a lot of clouds, and we are seeing some precipitation showing up on the radar. Uh, much of this actually is in the form of snow shower activity in where we see some of the warmer temperatures, maybe some rain showers in the mix too. That will play through as we go through uh, the early and middle afternoon, eventually working its way across New England. This is nothing like yesterday. It's, it's not uh, a system that has a whole a lot of strong dynamics with it. Uh, yesterday was a, a completely different story. So this will move along and then we can uh, see clouds eventually move out of the way, and then we can look forward to our weather for Wednesday. Across the country, really pretty quiet. A little bit of action up uh, in the northern Rockies and in the northern plains with various winter weather advisories, also up in the northern lake, uh, the northwestern lakes. Uh, also some high wind uh, issues uh, in the plains and into the northern Rockies and a couple of winter storm watch, uh, uh, winter weather advisories. And actually, those are avalanche warnings that are up uh, in northwestern, northern Idaho and northwestern Montana. But there's a general absence of uh, any kind of major winter storm activity here as we uh, march through the last handful of days of the month of February and find our way into the month of March. This is what it looks like rainfall-wise through uh, next Tuesday. So not really looking like a whole lot in terms of precipitation here in the Northeast down into the Northern Mid-Atlantic states, generally under a half an inch and in many areas even under a quarter of an inch. Uh, that may come probably over the weekend. Heftier rains across the uh, Tennessee Valley, lower Ohio Valley, and back down into uh, the uh, lower and middle Mississippi Valley, seeing some big rainfall amounts that little orangey patch there in the middle there in Tennessee, those are, uh, that's four or five inches of rain or more. This is again covering a seven day period. So uh, let's um, look at what we can expect for the rest of today. And of course we have this upper air disturbance rolling by. Once that goes out, I think we should partially clear out tomorrow and we will have some sun, but we do also have another cold front that is approaching. This one uh, doesn't have much with it. Uh, it's just basically going to be uh, a, a wind shift. There you go. There's your cold front. And, you know, warmer air is trying to move up uh, from the southwest. The problem is that we, we, need, we need two days in between uh, weather fronts in order to give the atmosphere some time to genuinely warm up. One day just doesn't cut it. So that front moves by maybe a rain shower tomorrow night. Otherwise, we should be chilly but dry for Thursday and Friday. I think we're going to see a fair amount of sunshine both days, but temperatures are going to be back to average for this time of year, which is 
pretty much upper 30s to mid 40s for highs and nighttime lows down in the 20s to around 30. Uh, then uh, as we head on through uh, into the weekend, the high moves out east of New England and then just keeps on going. We get moisture to start coming back later on Saturday, perhaps some rain late in the day Saturday into Saturday night. Then there's another wave that shoots out with a little bit more rain Sunday night into Monday. Interestingly enough, uh, this low that develops uh, off the New Jersey coast will eventually strengthen into a fairly powerful storm, and it will bring down a quick shot. That's a cold high coming down in the western lakes, and it looks like it will bring down a quick shot of very cold air for later Monday, Monday night into Tuesday of next week. But it'll be short-lived because then that pulls out and then the next weather system will be rolling along with only a minimal amount of cold air uh, to work with. So that's sort of a look at the long range. The way the weather pattern is set up, uh, it is not favorable for winter storms in the Northeast or in the Mid-Atlantic states. Uh, the, the way it happens is if you get you, you get a momentary, let's call it a lapse in the pattern, where the puzzle pieces can come together for a brief period of time. I think that that's how it's going to be uh, over the next couple of weeks as far as getting any kind of late winter season winter storm threat. So weather in five brought to you again by Omni True Value Hardware. They're getting ready for the spring now. So that means topsoil, mulch, uh, landscaping stuff, whatever it is. 631-756-1125, North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon. And also brought to you by Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, 631-957-5106, your holiday lighting specialist to meet all your holiday decorating needs. The Joe and Joe Show will be back, well, it was back last night, minus one Joe. Joe took the had to take another night off because of uh, cleaning up from uh, yesterday's snowfall. Uh, but he will be uh, on tonight, so we'll be back together. That's at 7.30 Eastern Time on my YouTube channel. So we hope to see you then. Have a great afternoon.